Hi, this is Charlie Sutterfield. I'm going to walk you through the process of importing an image to use as an underlay for <clears throat> a site plan and then uh, rotating it and talking about Project North versus True North. So this video is going to end up being in multiple chunks and um, we'll, we'll keep them short and uh, hopefully they make sense. So anyway, uh, so I'm in a Revit project and this is just a generic architectural template that I've used and the only thing that I really care about is that it's got a site plan in it right now. So uh, I need to create my image for my um, site plan first. And so what I'm going to do is go, uh, I've already done a search in uh, Google for Dayton, Ohio, which is where I am. And I need to capture this image um, and then I can save it with a name and then I'll be able to place it into my project as an underlay. And so what I'm going to do is use the snipping tool, which is that guy right there. Um, snipping tool. Now when I do this, I want to make sure that I include in my uh, screen capture here the scale that Google has uh, down in the lower left hand corner. Uh, so I've zoomed in enough to where it's um, 100 feet is the graphic scale there and um, make sure that if you do that uh, once you get to 100 feet notice that it changes so that you're at a 45 degree angle or a kind of a perspective view instead of a straight on view you probably want to go into the controls for for the Google map and change that so that you've got a straight on plan view instead of a 45 so there I've captured my image including the scale and I'm gonna go ahead and save it so I click the save button up there in the upper left hand corner and I'm going to stick it on my desktop just so that I can find it quickly and easily. And I'm going to call it uh, Dayton, Ohio for Revit. Then I can minimize this or I can actually go ahead and close it. That's fine. So now back in my uh, Revit project, I'm going to go to my site plan. And this point is going to become important. You've got a project origin and a survey point. They're overlapping each other, and they should be in the middle of your screen. One's a triangle and one's a, a circle. Go ahead, let's bring that image in. And so I go to Insert, tab up at the top, and then Import Image. Click that button. And now I can navigate my way back to my desktop, and I can select... Uh, Dayton, Ohio for Revit. Click open. And now that image is on my cursor. So if I zoom out some, that's how big it's going to be. So I'm going to put the middle of the image uh, where the project origin is. Uh, just to keep things organized. I don't have to, but it makes sense to me. So I go ahead and I click once to get that there. Now while that uh, image is still selected, I'm going to go ahead and scale it so that it's full size. So if you zoom in, on um, the, the graphic scale that Google has, we know that that's 100 feet from that vertical line to that vertical line. And so what I'm going to do is click the scale button in Revit. It's on the, the modify uh, ribbon, which as long as your image is selected, the modify ribbon will be active. So click on scale. I'm going to click once to start it and then once to stop it. And mine happens to measure 18 feet, uh, but I know that Google thinks that that is 100 feet. So I just type in on my keyboard 100 and click the enter button and notice that things changed. And so now that picture that I imported is at full scale. So that means that that building, whatever that building is, is coming in full size, right? So if that, bu that building is 300 feet long, the picture uh, if you measured it, it would be 300 feet long for that building. So let's stop there.